Hey everyone, it's your favorite host, Marcus Norman of Gentleman Style Podcast Show. And today I am excited about who we're interviewing today. I had to get fancy for this gentleman because this man is hailing all the way from the UK. He's incredible, amazing, and insightful. And he's going to speak on a, a trade, a skill that I think is absolutely necessary, especially to us gentlemen. Uh, Mr. Alex Rose is a fine tailoring master. He has more than 50 years of experience in the clothing industry from wholesale tailoring to high quality uniform and staff clothing. A master tailor with a fresh and novel approach to traditional men's tailoring. He has tailored for all kinds of celebrities, all kinds of pop stars, athletes across the globe. And he is here blessing us on the Gentleman Style Podcast stage. His mission is to make every client look and feel great, whatever their size, whatever their body shape. And, and, and I say I'm shapely. So a custom tailored suit and a custom tailored jacket is what sets the bar and what really it's like a fine haircut. It's a fine shave. A fine haircut is what sets the tone of the rest of your day, the rest of your week, and hopefully the rest of your life. Because Mr. Rose has quality fabrics and quality materials, and he works with some of the best tailors all over the UK, helping us define who we are. I think a custom tailor jacket defines who you are and it represents who you are. And he's going to help us explain why and shake some of the novelty off of some of the questions that we've had and we're bringing him on the gentleman style podcast stage today so you all won't want to miss one second of this incredible man here we go <laughs> Help me welcome to the stage, Mr. Alex Harold Rose. How you doing, sir? Welcome to the Gentleman Style Podcast Show. Thank you. Love it. Love it. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being with us today. This is epic. This is huge. I'm excited to have you here. You look sharp, sir. You. What do we have behind you? What, what do we have some behind you? I know that you're an artist. What's Explain some of your art for us. Well, the, the thing is that uh, quality and the construction of a garment is um, something which is paramount, which is the uh, foundation of the garment. And our jackets are made with uh, padded lapels, uh, floating chest piece and a, a quality um, interlining. It, it's something that you wouldn't necessarily get off the peg because what we have built into our garments is longevity. Um, it, sometimes it's a bit counterproductive because clients tell me, well, I'm still wearing the same jacket you made me 10 years ago. It just goes on and on. Um, also, we have uh, different things which we can do, which is um, semi-constructed style, or we can um, do um, club uh, blazers, which uh, this was for um, a golf uh, championship uh, for uh, Ballantyne's whiskey. Uh, this uh, was for um, a promotion in um, Scotland. Um, my background is... Um, garment manufacturing. So I, I, I have uh, an understanding of garment construction, how garments go together. And uh, what I'm doing is combining um, tradition with technology and giving uh, customers um, a personalized tailoring experience. What I am um, using uh, Zoom, um, Teams, um, etc. Uh, I can literally uh, reach out to almost anybody, any size or shape. I've developed a unique way of being able to measure people online, um, taking into account their existing jackets. Um, we would send out free uh, cloth samples. Um, the, um, the thing is that 
not many companies will actually offer you uh, a unique tailoring experience because I actually believe in fitting the mind before you fit the body. Absolutely. Um, uh, the reason why is you could have a jacket that you think fits you, but there's something niggling about it that's not quite right. So um, prior, after uh, a client has selected the cloth and the style, um, decided to buy the jacket, I would actually have a Zoom meeting uh, with them to go through um, the style, the measurements, what they've got, what they like and dislike about their jacket. And when they actually stand in front of, on the camera, uh, I, I can judge their body shape, whether they've got sloping shoulders, a prominent chest, prominent stomach, um, head forward, um, etc. Et um, our garments are all uh, European made and um, many several row tailors uh, of London share the same workrooms as uh, we do. I and I, I love that. I noticed something. I've, I've been on a website and you guys got to peruse this website and check it out. He, he has an actual dedicated app so you can take the measurements yourself. Um, if you have the expertise and, and, and I love the fact that you guys even send out a tape measure if I don't have one. I really appreciate that. And I love that. <laughs> Every gentleman should have a tape measure on hand, on standby. He fits the definition of fine tailoring and gentleman collection. I love the collection of the English Riviera Exeter. I love the fabric. I and he's and he's not kidding, y'all. He sends you samples. I love the samples. And these samples come out with that fine personalized touch. And I really love the, the personalization and the customization of this. And it really puts me in the, the driver's seat of choosing my own destiny. I, that's how I felt. That's the feeling I have. And, and like I said, the English Riviera Exeter is my favorite. Mr. Mr. Harold, what's your favorite, if you can share, what's your favorite um, fabric or collection? Well, the um, being rather a, a, a kind of conservative guy, <laughs> uh, I, I actually prefer um, more um, straightforward, uh, plainish cloths. Um, um, there's one range here from um, uh, Holland and Sherry, which is a, a pure pure wool with um, uh, cashmere, which is, as I put it, I, I, I regard cloth like um, a fine wine. Um, it, it, it's something to be savoured and treasured. It isn't just um, any old cloth. It, 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 every time I feel a cloth, it talks to me. When I look at a garment, it talks to me about how it was made and um, so on and so forth. So um, um, I, I actually prefer personally more uh, traditional um, plain rather than, um, dare I say, the English Riviera type of uh, cloth. But that's the uh, beauty of the selection we have because um, we've got cloths of every weight, every description. We even have one called Jacob's Wool, which is quite a heavy cloth. It's a, an ecology cloth. It comes from a special breed of sheep called the Jacob's Wool, um, which is the ugliest looking sheep you would ever see. <laughs> um, the, um, the cloth is the sheep. Um, a sheared um, and the cloth is woven all within a 10 mile radius of uh, Huddersfield in West Yorkshire, England. So um, it, it's really a, an ecology cloth um, because there are no chemicals at all involved in its uh, production. I, I I want I'm glad that you brought up the sheep. <laughs> he said the ugliest sheep you've ever seen. I wanted to ask why is there seem to be a preference? I noticed in some of these samples and the jacket material and on your website because your website depicts um the various collections of cloth material that you have. I notice a huge emphasis on wool, whereas in the United States a lot of our fabrics are made of cotton. So can you explain 
why the preference to wool or what are the difference between wool and cotton? Is it is wool a superior fabric or 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 why no. not cotton? Well, put it this way. Um wool is um, a natural fiber which um, if it's creased it has uh, a crease retention and uh, a crease recovery um, cotton um, is uh, obviously is a, a natural plant that's grown so therefore when you um, if it gets creased uh, you actually have to either iron it or press it uh, to get rid of the creases. The only way to describe it is that if you get a ball of wool, like knitting wool, and you squeeze it in your hand, uh, the it has a natural tendency to um, jump out. Mm. You can't squash it. Whereas with wool and linen, uh, you can um, squash it. And also, by having, um, say, a, a super lightweight wall, if you're going into um, a business meeting, you want to look in um, as pristine, as sharp as possible, uh, and not like a sack of potatoes. <laughs> I, I, I appreciate not looking like a sack of potatoes. Like I said, Mr. Harold Rose, y'all, Master Taylor, on the show. What got you into tailoring? Um, you could have been, you have an incredible mind. You could have been anything, done anything. Why go into tailoring? Uh, because my dad wanted me to go into the family business. So uh, consequently, I, um, I left school. Uh, I went to college. Uh, to study um, garment production. I uh, eventually inherited the uh, family uh, business and created one of the most modern privately owned clothing factories in the UK. Um, when I was a kid, um, I used to go out and met with my dad. We were a trade supplier producing around about 40 or thousand uh, custom made suits to the trade. He used to say to People used to say, like, what's Harold going to do when he leaves school? So he said, he, he pulled out of his pocket a thimble and he said, I'm saving this for him. And I still have the thimble <laughs> that he um, he saved for me. Um, so that, that's why uh, I'm in the clothing trade. It, it's something that... Um, I'm uh, very, very passionate about in um, creating garments where uh, the client put it on, smiles, and says to me, thank you very much. I love that. I love that. Mm. Mm. I, I feel like there's, there's not enough tailors, custom tailors, true tailors around anymore. I feel like the, your profession, your skill, but it's still absolutely necessary. M M Mr. Rose, can you give us how custom um, on your website, how custom are these jackets? How detailed can these jackets be? Um, because these are made um, custom to every, every order. There's not a, a, a rack of already made, you're going to buy, yeah. does it fit your size? So how custom, do, how detailed do these jackets get? Well, in the, the garments, the jackets are actually cut out by computer. So consequently, it's like a, a, sophist a sophisticated CAD system whereby um, the garment is cut out. So therefore, uh, hopefully when it comes to a repeat order, apart from any tweaking, we can uh, replicate um, exactly the same thing again. Because with um, hand cutting, it depends which side of the chalk line the cutter's actually um, uh, doing. Um, in the um, tailoring system, there are approximately about 150 different variations we can actually do with the width of the shoulder, the length of the back, the figuration, whether somebody's erect, stooping, got sloping shoulders, prominent stomach, um, sway back, prominent seat, um, 
etc. Et, et, et I could rattle them off all day. <laughs> I wanted to ask the question. Let's say, because you just said it, right? These are custom tailored, so they're designed with me in mind and my shape. What if I gain weight? What if I lose weight? Is there an opera? Is there some wiggle room in the customization? Yeah. Because all the jackets are cut with um, inlays in uh, the centre back, um, so therefore it, there, there is um, some allowance to uh, let out the uh, jacket. Um, obviously, if somebody gains an enormous amount of weight, um, it, it makes it rather problematic. But um, it is possible to um, adjust the jackets um, up or down, as the case may be. Absolutely. Uh, I, I would just add, the reason why online, uh, in face-to-face -face meetings uh, uh, here, um, we would offer the whole range of suits, uh, jackets, trousers, um, etc. But online, um, it's only jackets. The reason for this is because um, I can visually see um, how the client is with a jacket. Um, with trousers, they're rather more difficult to fit uh, remotely because it's actually understanding uh, the customer's particular shape. Uh, for argument's sake, he um, may want very slim trousers, but is a sportsman with very um, big thighs, uh, um, etc. So that that's rather more um, problematic. Uh, to do so what we want to do is try to achieve as much perfection as we can um, with a, a tried and tested method i love that i love that you're not gonna get this anywhere else y'all uniqueness quality high quality do do you have any uh gucci or louis vuitton or any fabrics like that the um, most we have uh, some um, a few Loro Piana. Um, we also our main supplier of uh, fabrics, uh, apart from several uh, Yorkshire mills, is um, Holland and Sherry of um, Savile Row. Um, they are old old established um, cloth merchant. We also deal with many English, other English cloth merchants and uh, mills. Uh, what I'm actually more concerned about uh, with cloth is whether I actually consider the cloth um, value for money and fit for purpose rather than uh, just really having um, a brand name which is um, expensive, but I don't really consider uh, would make up well, um, and it wouldn't really necessarily always meet my criteria of um, hopefully giving the um, clients uh, value for money. Absolutely, absolutely. I wanted to ask this this point here because you talk about this on your on your LinkedIn page. Um, does wearing a tie or a suit? make me more creditable yes how yeah. so <laughs> i give you a, a, a very simple um um a few months ago i was um driving through central london and i wanted to go to the bathroom right i walked into um as part of the car walked into a five-star hotel obviously suited and booted <laughs> and um, the doorman said, good morning, sir. And um, I came out a few minutes later and he said, thank you very much. I hope to see you again. Now, had I gone in there wearing a sweatshirt uh, and a pair of jeans, um, the doorman would have said, good, good morning, sir. Can I help you at all? But the point was, uh, because of my appearance, he did not question me at all. So that, that is, is, is the way, because when you're wearing um, a tie, you um, assume that um, the, you're giving your kind of mark of authority. But it, it's only 
in the right sort of circumstances because you wouldn't necessarily turn up to um, um, a sports event uh, wearing a suit, shirt and tie. You know, you, you have to wear um, your clothes uh, according to the occasion that uh, demands it. That's true. That's absolutely true. And, and I love how that I want to just I want to stick right here with the emotions behind a custom suit, just like a haircut, just like a clean shave. I, can you describe the emotion you feel when you put on that suit? What do you feel? How does it make you feel as a man? It puts a spring in your step mm. um, because um, it, it, it it's it's separating your um casual life if that's out of hours out of working hours life to um your uh, business life it, it, it it's rather like going to um a restaurant i don't know if uh, what you call it in the states but in england it would be kind of silver service where um there's a, a pristine white tablecloth and the waiters are um in um some form of uniform and uh the um beautiful cutlery um etc and it's um a five-star restaurant and if you go there wearing um a t-shirt and a pair of shorts um, you're not you're not doing justice to the ambience and place that you're you're uh, uh, actually going to. And also, um, if you're going for a job interview, um, uh, it, it, it's how you appear uh, because people make a judgment before you um, uh, open your mouth. Um, one of my uh, clients is the chief prosecuting uh, lawyer for the uh, north of England. And I was talking to him about this and he said, you know, he said, many people who appear in court, if they actually appeared wearing um, smartly dressed, um, the, the chances are that the judge would say, and if the guy says, look, I'm turning over a new leaf, um, the chances are he would either get a um, discharge or lenient sentence or, or whatever, because he's showing that he's made the effort, is that unfortunately, uh, most of the those sort of people actually uh, appear in court as if they've just got out of bed. That's so true. It, appearance is everything. I, I, I Just like what you said with job interviews, there are I, I think one of the things when I came to the United States, the continental United States, I've always been a U.S. citizen. But when I came to the continental United States, all my life, I've been applying for jobs and getting jobs primarily basis because I show up for the job. So I dress professionally. I dress well. I remember sitting down in an interview and the gentleman before me was in some ripped jeans and he was in a, a, a t-shirt <laughs> and he's showing up for a very professional position, right? We all were. And I remember him walking in <laughs> and in, in one minute walk, he, he was being walked out of the building by the interviewer. And, you know, when he came, when the interviewer came back, he expressed that you weren't even dressed for the position. I'm not even going to waste the time to talk to you about the job. And so it, it goes without saying dress for the ambiance, dress for the occasion, right? You, you're, in, and even if you're not, my, my first interview ever in job, I was interviewing to work at a bank in my local, in my home. And <laughs> I didn't have a suit. I was a young boy out of high school. And all I had was my prom tuxedo. So I showed up to this interview in a prom tuxedo, um, very <laughs> with the flails, the bow tie, the high shoulders, the, the customization. <laughs> and needless to say, I got the interview because they remembered me. I was the only 16-year-old, 17-year-old man overdressed for the position. And they remembered me and they remembered my application. So, so true. 
Very, very true, Mr. Rose. And that's what you do. That's what you allow men to feel. And that's what you give um, through the experience. It, it really makes a man. It really, it, it really changes the atmosphere around you. And it changes you inside. When you put on a nice suit jacket, a nice custom tailor suit. And I, I am going to work to get more custom suits. The hard part is staying in shape to make sure I fit them. That's the hard part there for me. <laughs> Mr. Rose, how long does it take um, the whole process from beginning to end? So I place an order. I give you my measurements, whether it be through the application or we do a Zoom call where I give you my measurement or I submit my measurements on the website. How long from beginning to end will it take for me to get a custom suit? A, a, a custom jacket, about five, uh, six weeks. Five to six weeks. Forgive me. And yes, custom jacket. I, I have to make that distinction. It's not a full moon suit. We do custom jackets on this website. Powerful, powerful, powerful. Mr. Rose, what is your favorite books to read? You're a distinguished gentleman. I, uh, you, you're very intellectual. What are your favorite books to read? Um, I, um, I, I enjoy history. Really? Um, because we are where we are where we are today. Um, because of events which happened um, a long time ago. And um, uh, w w without being political, uh, the uh, current events in the world um, are there because of um, what went on in the past, which has developed into the way we are today. So um, I enjoy uh, history and gene genealogy. Love it, love it, love it. What is your favorite part about what you do? What What do you like the most? What is your favorite thing to do? Um, create um, orders and um, have happy, happy customers. When somebody says, "Really, really, um, really help me um, get the get a job." Love it, love it, love it. Mr. Rose, I love this and I love what you're doing and I appreciate and thank you for what you do because it's absolutely necessary. Could I just say one other thing? Absolutely. Right. Uh, I don't know if you can actually see it, but you can have your name uh, monogrammed in the lining if you can mm. see that. Yes. And also... You can, I can even have your name uh, put on the button. Custom. Because it's um, personally engraved um, with your uh, name, etc. So uh, the jacket is as unique as a snowflake. And I doubt if there is anybody anywhere that is currently offering the same, le same level of care, attention, quality, and etc. anywhere. No, nowhere, nowhere. And that's what I like about what you do. And I, I appreciate what you are doing through Alex Rose is that it's high quality, um, high quality, good material, lasting material, makes a statement very bold like i said my favorite is very bold very stand out it's going to catch someone's eye right but it's not it's not the the it's not you're not going to find this anywhere right and i think growing up in the virgin islands for me that was everyone's goal to have the product have the jacket that i'm not going to show up to a dinner event or a gala and someone else is going to be wearing the same thing I'm wearing. I want to I want to be the only one at this event with what I'm wearing. And that's what Alex Rose does. That's what Mr. Hal Rose and his team does is truly authentically you. Yeah. Huge, huge. How can we find you? How can we connect with you? How can we learn more, Mr. Rose? Well, um, either email me. Um, uh, Harold at uh, alexrose.uk 
or um, I'm on uh, WhatsApp, uh, LinkedIn, um, and dare I say all, 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 all the usual channels. Absolutely. Absolutely. Connect, connect, connect. And for those of you ready to make a purchase right now, go to www.alexrose.uk. Get connected. Check out some of the materials. Again, quality materials. This is the jacket that's built to last a lifetime. This is the jacket that you may be able to hand down to your son's sons, generations to come, and always, always stand out and always be ready to make a statement. And so I love that. Mr. J Mr. Rose, you've made so many nuggets today. Thank you for giving back. Thank you for sharing. This is incredible. You're incredible, sir. Thank you for what you do. Powerful, powerful. Well, we got to let Mr. Rose go. He has many more suits to tailor and many more jackets to make. Busy, busy man, busy professional. Like I said, over 50 years of professionalism, expertise, and really making a statement. And I can't wait. You all connect with him. Let's put that website back on the screen. For again, audio listeners, www.alexrose.uk. Like we end every show. <laughs> take care of your friends. Take care of your family. And always, always take care of business. This is Marcus, your favorite gentleman, and Mr. Howard Rose, Master Taylor, signing off. Mm -hmm.